Yeah, that, it was an interesting baseball game, to, uh, to say the least. We, we competed in battle, and we have a little thing we call flip side. And, and, and at the end of the, the game, you know, we, we stop a 20-game winning streak, we beat a 12-game winner, and we played bad. Uh, and, but we, we competed. Mark pitched a great game for us, kept us in it. We took advantage of some of their ill things in the first part of the game, and they took advantage of some of our poor baseball at the second part of the game. But the bottom line is we hung in there, competed, and Stevie Kimmelman did a great job out of the bullpen and, and secured the win for us. So uh, we're still here, um, and that's what it's about at this point of the season. Questions, Kevin? Mark, talk about your performance today on the mound. How did you feel um, I mean, I felt good warming up. I felt like my arm was there. Um, I was a little mad at myself. I was walking guys with two outs. And, uh, I mean, I felt like when I just got ahead of guys, it was a lot easier for me to pitch, um, throw my off speed. And I just got out a couple of jams that could have went either way. But luckily, they went our way today. His, his changeup was very good today. That's a pitch he's really worked hard on this year. I think a pivotal time in that game was the bases loaded with one out and they had their eight hitter up. It was a contact hitter, and he threw a changeup. We got a pop up to first base. That was the first pitch changeup because a kid likes to jump pitches early, and so he threw a perfect pitch to have the confidence to throw an OO changeup uh, to a kid who's an aggressive hitter, and he got a pop up. which really, I think that kind of pivoted the game a little bit for his confidence. I I'm not sure, but it was a great pitch yep. he made. And then he got the next guy out to end the rally, so to speak, but. He had faith in it, he pitched it, and he, and he earned it. It's tough to talk about because we haven't done it all year. I mean, our trademark has been that we've been a, an exceptionally good you know, defensive team. I, I believe, I don't know necessarily care about rankings and regards, but I think we're in the top in the country, one or two, feeling defensively. But, you know, a couple ate them up uh, over there. Uh, the key there was Mark responding with pitches and Stevie Kimmelman responding with pitches. And you pick each other. I've been there. I made a ground, you know, my junior year in college, I had a ground ball go between my legs with the bases loaded in a, in a regional. So I'm not, you know, you're not getting mad. The big key is for him to respond mentally, and these guys did a nice job picking picking uh, our shortstop up, um, who's a very good baseball player. Mark, can you comment on that in terms of your mentality? Uh, on um, I mean, it was tough to see to see balls go by him. I mean, I I still had full confidence in him. Anytime the ball was hit to him, I feel like he's going to make a play. And uh, I feel like that's pretty much how it is for our whole defense. Whenever the ball's hit, I, you know, I, I'm just confident that they're going to make a play for me behind. So. Oh, it's a huge help. Um, I mean, it's, it's kind of like a weight off your back because you, you go out there and you know you're you're winning the game, and then it, it just drives me a little more to uh, throw up a zero on the board each inning to get our team back in the dugout. Mark, over here. <laughs> Talk about on offense, uh, you guys, you know, with the that maybe is having some sort of control problems with the mentality of the plate that you I think you guys did a uh, pretty good job with. Yeah, I think we're very disciplined as a team, and um, we have a lot of guys that they'll take pitches. They're very smart up there. Uh, P.J. Rinaldi, I think, taking a 3-1 when he had, we were up 4-1 with a guy on third base. That's, that's, you don't teach that. You just know. And I think that's a, just a great job by our guys to be selective and get the right pitches and, I mean, scrape out a win. Mark, really aggressive for you on the base pads in the first inning, too, obviously. Uh, you get the hit, you get the steal, and then you find yourself with opportunity to run. Yeah, well, he was draining me out there. <laughs> kept, kept giving it back to back. I, I, he's, I guess in good, he's in good shape. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that was that was big for us, big for our team. I think leading off for this team, I think, is the easiest job in the world because the eight guys behind you are just ridiculous baseball players. So it takes all the pressure off me. All I got to do is go out there and play. I know each guy in the lineup is going to pick us up. So it's a good job. Joe, you well, as again, I mentioned to him, I know that tomorrow at 10 and 1, two teams go home and we're not. So we're down to the final six, so to speak. And uh, it's, it's challenging. Any of the eight ball clubs I've been out here a few times can win a, can win a tournament and get hot and do a great job. Uh, you know, Salisbury coming off a 20 game win streak. We played them earlier in the year. 
I think it's good, as I told the, the new players here, because not many of our players have been here, um, that you're no longer a rookie. You've played in the game now, settled down, you know where the hotel is, you know what you're going to do pregame. You're just playing a sing single nine inning baseball game. You know, you just not make it any bigger, quite honestly, than it is, and try to, you know, it's the very best of our ability to, and that comes from me a little bit. And I can probably drive the ship in the wrong direction, or I can probably drive it in the right direction. So, you know, Mark, you know, made a comment about, uh, you know, he's been in a unique spot this year. We've had him all over the field, and he settled in second base, and we put him off the leadoff uh, because he's a smart player and he can get some things ignited for us. But we run to a fault sometimes. Trust me, I have a lot of fans at home that tell me quite often, <laughs> what are you doing? I said, I don't know, scoring runs? When we were playing with BB Corbats, what do you want me to do? You know, hope for a three-run homer? Not going to happen. So, well. Coach, talk about how it's important. Um, you saw where he finally gets a run the to come back and spawn two runs. That biggest inning of the baseball game. And I, quite honestly, we should have had more. You know, it, it, our thinking is just keep scoring. We were able to do that in the regionals, and you, you hit it. That's that's a very important f phase of the game because next inning they came right back and scored scored a couple of you know runs and got right back in the inning two later. But uh, it was, but it was the at bats that did it. Our aggressiveness. I actually got mad at a couple guys. They weren't aggressive enough on the base paths. In particular, my first baseman. <laughs> He's already been told. Knowing that. Salisbury's pitcher was on three days rest off of the Monday regional. Did that change the approach offensively for the team in terms of taking more pitches or trying to, you know, because he doesn't walk a lot of guys normally. He walks about two or three batters per nine innings. So was there a, a difference because of that? I don't think, uh, quite honestly, I found out that I, I communicated with Coach Fleetwood at our batting practice site. He, I told him I was throwing a right-handed pitcher. He told me he was throwing a right-handed pitcher. At first I was a bit surprised, but then I wasn't. It's his 12 game winner. And, and that kid, I'm sure, went to his coach and said, I'm ready to compete. Um, we had a unique decision to make with our starting pitcher, too. But in our eyes, our three are interchangeable with Mark, with Brandon, and Brandon. Uh, and so we, 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 you know, it doesn't make a difference. You, if you start tabbing people as your one, that can permeate a team. We, we tab them as they're all pitchers. Who wants the doll today? It doesn't matter. And people can second guess you, but. They're, you know, they're all pretty good. So, no, we didn't quite because honestly, we didn't know until 45 minutes before the game there's going to be a right hander. I thought we were going to see a left hander. The kid who pitched real good against us earlier in the year, uh, Dan Fine. Um, Mark, um, talk about uh, double play. <laughs> <laughs> Mark, talk about uh, the play. Uh, I don't know, I just jumped up. You know, I, I, I can't really say much about it. I, Did we just move you? Steve just came in, and I mean, Did we I, just was move for, you? I was looking for a ground ball. I was looking for a ground ball. You said a ground ball. Yeah. Did we shade you four a little? <laughs> but, uh... Well, you said you repositioned him in the field. Yes, yes, yes. yes. <laughs> um, but I didn't help his vertical. <laughs> I don't know. Big play. Um, we almost screwed up because the kid's a right sider. And we had him yeah. coverage in the last second. My assistant goes, Coach, right sider. And I'm screaming at Mark. Mark, right sider. And so sometimes we get caught up and overanalyzed, but he, he made great athletic play. He's a decent athlete. <laughs> Are we going to get Warner Ladder to sponsor the tournament now that you've climbed one? <laughs> <laughs> Anybody else have anything?